that uh, the structures of uh, Mishkan indicate uh, the whole world and also the hu human being by itself. So when the Pasuk says, is actually referring to every person that he needs to make himself ra'ul, fit, that Shekhinah should come upon him. And Menorah, uh, Shulchan, all these sections in the Mishkan somehow has connection to the whole world and also to the uh, just the, the, the body of a human being. So over here in Parashat Teruma, when we get to the discussion of uh, how to build Aaron, the Pasuk tells us, We asu Aaron as that make the Aaron, Aaron or Ark from as as a kind of a uh, Akaki of wood, Right? Or, uh, as we, as we see, it, it gives the measurement that are half. Amotain, two and a half of a, of a cubic width and a, and a cubic and a half of height. Right? One and a half omato. And you should cover it from inside and outside from pure gold and in middle there should be wood. Referring to this attack here wood. Right? So if you're making such a holy thing that is hosting Luchot, the, the Luchot that, uh, the broken pieces of Luchot. And also is, uh, there is a Sefer Torah that Moshe Rabbeinu wrote and he put it in there. And according to some opinions, the staff of Moshe Rabbeinu was also put in there. And, no, there was enough room. Uh, and also, there was a man, a little bit man put in there. So make the whole thing out of gold. Why just outside and inside needs to be gold? Make the whole thing from wood. What is the purpose of wood in middle? So our Chachamim teach us the wood is something very cheap. Right? Wood is referring to the Yesahara of a person. Yesahara that we have is compared to some sort of cheap thing, you know. You don't really want it. Gold is something valuable. Neshama is compared to gold. So over here, Hashem is telling us a message. You have wood within you. You have Yesehara in you. Evil inclination is in every human being. But you need, but you, what you, what you need to do is, you need to cover it from inside and outside from, by gold. Nishama with good deeds with Torah. If you come to, you know, put. This uh, Yesahara in prison, from in, inside and outside, is is surrounded by gold, by Torah. Then this Yesahara will not harm you. Opposite, you could even use the Yesahara to, you know, elevate yourself, to use it as a way to hold this Aron that holds the Torah. Right? So this is the message of Hashem. Hashem is telling us, right, you have your Sahara in you, you can't ignore it. You have to be able to come and neutralize it. Come and use it in the best way possible. May Allah help us that we also use the wood within us, the evil inclination, in a good way, right, by, uh, by coming and controlling it, and by covering it by Torah, Masim, Tobim, Benomar, Amen.